me? Huh? What is it? Where's the sound coming from? Oh, poor thing. How did you end up there? Okay, don't move. I'm coming. <gasps> I need something to save the kitten. No, that's not it. Oh, maybe this? <laughs> well, of course. This basket is just what I need. Oh. Wait for me, kitty. Hey, what's going on here? Ugh. Hey, bring it all back. Oh, no. My balloon! Come on, kitty! Don't be afraid! I will catch you! Oh! Phew! Are you alright? Okay, it's a done deal! You're coming with me! Oh, really? There is nothing cuter in the world! Help! 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 Sammy, what's happening? Susie, drop everything! I need your help! It's an emergency! Ah, oh, what a cutie! Come on, I know what to do! You're so messy! I brought everything we're gonna need to get our new pet friend clean! Alrighty, let's give it a try. Hmm, no, the dirt won't come off that easily. Ah, I know, this should definitely work. Remove that spot over there, too! Can't you wait? Ugh. But you're doing it all wrong! Me, Sue. Catch the cat, huh? Did you hear that? Hear what? Shut. You still don't hear? What are you talking about? Well, of course you are so loud you won't hear anything like that. <laughs> there you are, kitty. Aww. It is me. I saved you from the tree, remember? Oh, how come? <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. There you go. Don't be afraid. Everything is fine. What? But it was I who saved you, kitty. Well, don't worry so much, Sam. She was just a bit scared. A bit scared? For some reason, she doesn't hiss at you. Uh -huh. Well, I'm just the friendliest one here. Am I right, kitty? Let's finish cleaning you up. Wait a minute. But I'm the cutest of all the slimes in the world. Hold on. Uh -huh. Something is wrong here. Sammy, it looks like our new pet will soon become a mommy. Oh, wow. Judging by the ultrasound, she will have triplets. So, kitty, you don't recognize me at all, do you? Um, did you lose your memory or something? You know, it seems our kitty does have some minor health problems. Oh, no! Poor little fluffy thing! Yeah, she's gonna have to have surgery. It's good that I've already finished my internship at med school. Please, doctor! Do something! Yeah. Don't worry, the kitty's in good hands. Yeah. By the way, get ready to assist! Holy cannoli! <gasps> I'm so nervous! Sammy? Ah, why are you shouting like that? Anesthesia, please. One moment, Doc. <gasps> I have everything ready. Go to sleep, dear. Hush, little kitty. Do not say a meow. Wow, that's the snoring, Doctor. I think the patient is ready for surgery. You're right. Scalpel. Uh, uh, get it together, Sam. You know what you're doing. Nurse, wake up. I need a scalpel. Um, yeah. Wait, wait a minute, what? A napkin? Sam! Oops, sorry. I'm so nervous that I forgot the names of all these things. Here's the right one. Okay, let's get started. Carefully. Oh, what a cute little kitten. <sighs> Whoa, let me just clean you a little bit. will be warm, just like in your mommy's tummy. Here you go, nurse. Take him. Welcome to the world! Oh, what a cute little one. And here is the second one. Okay, now we're going to remove all this from you. Doc, we're ready! I've prepared a cozy place for him right next to the first kitten. What? But how? Where? But where is he? You're so tiny, but already such a mischievous kitten. And finally, here's the last one. This matter has been sorted out. Hey, nurse, where are the rest of them? Uh, don't worry, Susie, I've already caught one. And the second, the second, ah, uh, right over there. How only did he get in there? So now let's carefully put the stitches and wake up the mommy. 
Hi, your kittens are so cute. Let's go have a look at them. Oh, it's such a lovely picture. A young mother and her children. This is so idyllic. I want to cuddle them so bad. Yes, looks like the kids are hungry. Hush, hush, we will feed everyone. Now that you're full, let's wash you all. Here you go, Sue. Right about time. Come here, kitty. Let's take care of your hygiene. Sammy, what are you doing? This purring put me to sleep. Come on, pull yourself together and help me with the kitten. Ma'am, yes ma'am. I'm not just a helper, I'm also a super nanny. By the way, where's the third kitty? Uh-huh, I've already looked there. And there too! Ugh, these cats are real rugrats! Now that you're washed, I will comb your fur. Oh, what is this? How did you get here? Sam, I found our little missing one. Ooh, I'm so glad! Oh, these kittens are really driving me crazy! Oh, it is impossible to stay mad at those little fur balls! You aren't hissing at me anymore, huh? It's good to know! Hey, friends! Do you want to know how to make such cute cat and kittens live in your home? Then don't go anywhere! Yeah, stay tuned! We're moving on to the crafting part! So, first let's take paper and scotch tape. We need to carefully tape over the entire sheet. And here's our design! I've been working on it for a long time! But you, friends, can come up with your own! I really like how you did it, Sammy! And now, let's cut out our cat. you do everything right, you'll get something like this. Now, let's protect this side too with a special film. By the way, an adult can help you with this. To put both parts together, we need to make a few cuts. Like this. The main thing is to remember not to rush with scissors. Now you just need to bend it carefully. This way. And it is very important to leave space so that you can place the padding polyester inside. Special delivery. Who's Sue? Yes, yes, it's me. Oh, it's perfectly soft. And now we will just stuff up our cute kitty with it. There you go. To distribute the padding polyester more evenly. Oh, you will need this thing. Make way. Thanks for your help, Sammy. <laughs> Always at your service. Now we'll tape up here. And we're done. Awesome! So fast! Oh, what a cool squishy! Now, to create the effect of dirty spots on our cat, let's take some glue. The glue is transparent and hard to see. Good point, Sam. We just need some paint. Our kitty was covered in dirt when I found her! And this is what we got. Oh, look how much stuff is stuck to me. Hey, we could really use all that for our craft. Now let's start creating the basket and diapers for the kittens. You are right, as always, my friend. <laughs> First, let's draw the outline. By the way, you can make it in two colors at once. It is very important to measure everything correctly. And just like that, all that's left to do is to color it. I want to participate too, can I? Of course, Sammy. Would you take care of the basket? With pleasure. So, well, now I'm like, oh, how do I color it? In smooth movements like this. Uh-huh. Well, I think I got it. Like that. Easy. Ugh, this is so hard. I'm exhausted. I have to lie down. Oh, those slimes. Yeah, slimes are like that. And that's it! Now we need to strengthen our paper basket! Rise and shine, Sammy! I need your help! Huh? What? Oh, I dreamed of a slime uprising! There will be a zoo uprising if you don't bring me that protective film now! I'm coming! I'm coming! All slimes love to sleep at work, you know! <laughs> well, it's all clear now! And we can continue! We need to tape over our drawing, just like we did with the cat! Then I will just cut everything out. 
And this is what we ended up with. One. They are so curious. <laughs> Let's get ready. It's time to sleep. Hey, where is your brother? Sue, look! He decided to throw a padding party. <laughs> You're such a little prankster. Today we made a really charming craft. Right, Sam? <laughs> to make... Oh, it's my lunch! Oh, I won't be long, everyone. <laughs> oh, that was lovely! <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, but do you know what? This has given me a great idea. We can use this paper bag to make this! It's a paper bag house. And we can make it in just one minute by using these arty things. Let's have a look. Of course, we've got a paper bag. We have a glue stick. We've got some tissue, some coloured card, a little sticker there, and a pen. Now, do you think it's possible to make this paper bag house in just one minute? No way! Oh, really? Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, we're going to bring in our bag and our tissue paper, and we stuff the tissue inside the bag like that. Now let's get our card, and we're going to fold it in half and then take a pen and draw on some curvy shapes like this. Now, this is going to be the roof on our paper bag house. <laughs> there we go, we've drawn that. Now, this purple bit of card will make a nice door. And I'm going to draw a cross on this blue card to make a window. Right, let's bring in a sticker now for a doorknob. There we go. And let's get some glue. Right, let's turn everything over and put on lots of glue. Some glue on there. A bit more glue here. A bit of glue on the window and some glue there for the roof. Right, let's stick everything on. Let's stick on the door. There we go. Let's stick on a window and, of course, a roof. And I've just built a paper bag house. <laughs> It's a house in just one minute. But if you've got more than a minute, you could try all sorts of ideas. How about trying a row of terraced cottages using different coloured bags? <laughs> or you could even try making this haunted crooked house made from a tall bag with spooky windows and a wonky chimney. Paper bag houses made in just one minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Stuff a paper bag with scrunched up tissue, draw tiles on another piece of card, then draw a window on the rectangle piece of card and draw a cross onto a square piece of card. Add a sticker for the doorknob, glue the door, window and roof to the bag and your paper bag house is finished. Why don't you try and make it in just one minute? And thank you, everyone, for being part of another marvellous Minute Maid! Yeah! School's officially over! And I've got big plans for my break. Ha! I love this show! Whee! Yay! Sam. Sammy? Wake up! What's wrong, Sue? School's about to start. You slept through the entire break. Are you kidding me? Uh, my bag is empty. I can't go to school with no supplies. I'm staying home, Sue. It's okay, Sammy. I'll help you. We can make the coolest school supplies ever. I was hoping you'd say that. Let's get started. We're going to need to keep everything organized. Aha! I know what to do. We can make you a special pencil organizer. First, I'll need to cut this foam in half. 
I'll use this hair straightener to soften a piece of foam paper. Uh, can you hurry up with those straighteners? This humidity is messing with my hair. Sorry, Sammy, it's all yours now. And this is gonna be the base of our pencil organizer. Ah, uh, I love the feeling of the wind in my hair. Pretend you didn't see that. Whoopsie! Now we need more foam paper to wrap it around. I don't think long hair suits me. I prefer the bald look. Uh, hmm. And I'll continue with the organizer. Next, I need to make small openings. Hey! That looks like a sneaker! You got it right. That's exactly what it is. I hope it smells better than my sneakers. Uh -huh. Oh, Sammy. <laughs> I'm glad you like it! Ooh, mint! Just what I need! Wait a second. I think I can use this. I'll keep the candy for later. Well, this will make a great pencil sharpener! Now, I'll glue a popsicle stick to it. We had popsicles? And you didn't tell me? Huh? Um, Raj ate them all. Just wait until I see Raj. He knows I love popsicles. Uh, can we get back to the craft? I want this to look like it's melting. There we go! Hmm, I'm hungry. <sighs> and I smart candy. <laughs> ah, refreshing! <laughs> er, did it get cold in here? <laughs> Every popsicle needs sprinkles. They make everything better. I want this to be super cute, just like Sam. Sue, I kind of got stuck. Do something. Um. It works perfectly. Wait, Sammy, are you okay? Here, this will warm you up. Whoa, where did this guy come from? Whee! Uh, Sam, you need to keep things tidy. I have a unique system. I know where all my things are. <laughs> Hang on. This gives me an idea. Ha! Come on, show me what you got! I'm gonna need some more tubes. Check this out. Looks like a masterpiece to me. I love it. It's like a crayon sleeping bag. I'm pretty jealous. <laughs> this will keep everything secure and stop the crayons from falling out. I was right. This is really comfortable. Hmm. I'm getting sleepy. And this heart is the finishing touch. It looks great, isn't it? You like it, Sam? Sam, hey, wake up! Sue, the slime is trying to sleep here! Did you forget about school? Uh, I was hoping you'd forget about that. Nice try, Sammy. Um, you need to go. And you know that. Do I? Really? But school is boring. I know. But school is important and we still have a lot to do. I guess you're right. Just keep watching. Where's your notebook? We just need some glue. I love popping bubble wrap. All done, Sammy. Anytime you feel bored in class, just press this. It'll make your day better. You need to do the same with my other notebooks now. Why didn't I think of that before? It's genius. <laughs> I think that's all you need, Sammy. You don't want to be late for school. No, no, Sue. We have more paper left. Just one more craft? Pretty please. All right, but you better really help me with all the pieces. You can count on me. I'm at your service. <laughs> Friends, this time we'll be using really thick colored paper. And this piece goes right here. Shouldn't we tell the viewers exactly what this is going to be? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, you're right, Sammy. This will be a pencil case. You can store markers in it this way. Whoosh! Awesome, right? By the way, this part of the case should be able to kind of stand like this. So, we need to glue this tiny piece right over here. Great! And the other half of the pencil case will be slightly different. Holy cannoli, she does that! Let's add decorations to the inner part of the case. 
fabulous. Friends, do you like it as much as I do? Whoa, Sammy, when did you do that? I can't reveal my secret, Sue. <laughs> Ooh, mysterious. I'll attach a strap to close the case. Perfect. This is just what Sammy needs. <laughs> While you're fooling around, I'm creating a masterpiece. Huh? Something isn't right here. <gasps> Sue, I need your help. And I think I can help you. We need a ruler. Honestly, Sue, a handmade ruler? Hey, what's the big idea? <gasps> Our ruler will have a little sparkle. Friends, you are free to use glitter of any shape or color that you like. Here we go. Now we'll need a mixture of water and coloring. Let's use a syringe to pour this colored oily liquid into the glitter. I love this blue. Be careful and try not to paint your fingers, boys and girls. Yeah, that's right. Okay, here we go. Wonderful. Feel free to ask an adult to help you seal this side really well. All we have left to do is attach a piece of paper with a ruler scale to it and it's done. Shiver me cheddars if that was not the simplest craft today. <laughs> Still, you weren't the one making it, Sammy. Just a bit more. What are you doing, Sue? Don't answer, I'll figure that out. Well, 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 two tiny stars and a kind of a... Sammy, I can't see anything. So do you have any idea what it is? Maybe it's a brooch? Did you forget we're making school supplies today? Not accessories. Sue, don't keep us in suspense. It's the cutest paperclip ever. Pay attention that you need to attach a clip to the fabric, not just put it in. Let's make it look even better. Want to add some sprinkles. Our star will look like an actual cupcake. Yay! Did someone say cupcake? Oh, Sammy, I can see you have nothing to do. I wish someone could make another paper clip. Sue, why do you need someone when you have a slime like me? Haha, <laughs> it's so easy to trick you into crafting. And you, friends, can ask an adult to help you with this stage if you want. And the last touch? I haven't heard Sammy for ages. Where is he? Sammy? I'm here with another paper clip. Oh, wow. Would you look at these cuties? Let's try them out. They can also make great bookmarks. Sam will never lose these cute little buddies. I really like all of them. Uh, Sue? It, it looks like we're gonna need more bookmarks. <laughs> Come on, Sue. You can do it. Why do I feel like I'm back at school? Next, we need these teddy bears. You'd be surprised how easy this craft is. You can draw any animal you want. By the way, Sammy? Yeah? I'm here. You've said something about your drawings. I think it's time to show off your art skills. I can do it even with my eyes closed. We will see. Oh, and one more thing. Can you please keep the bear theme so the bookmarks are in one style? I'm sure you'll make a cool bear. There are so many of them. Friends, we need to make two openings here. But don't forget about being very careful while working with the cutter. Sue, try and guess what bear I'm making. Hmm. Let me think for a bit. According to the white wool color, it could be the polar bear. Am I right? No. Uh, but you're lucky to have one more guess. Sammy, maybe you can just show us what you've got there. The panda. Friends, give us a thumbs up if you guessed that right. <laughs> I think we're done here. Let's look at all our bears. under control, Sammy. Stop panicking. Let's make it nice and sparkly, then. Your wish is my command. Yay! We need to figure out how to close our unusual binder. 
This time, instead of Velcro, we'll use magnets. Here we go. Looking good. How long should I wait for you, Sue? I'm already done. It looks like you've enjoyed making this. Check out this cute little raccoon. Let's give him his paws. One goes here. And another one goes right here, like this. Now we can close our binder. Wow! If the binder is closed, it seems like our raccoon is closing his eyes. Yep, it's like he's playing hide and seek. Phew! I'll see you later, Susie. I've got all my supplies. Nothing can stop me from getting straight A's. Have a good school day. Tibidaba, what a day! Oh, what happened to the straight-A student? Uh -huh. One step at a time, Sue. Let's not rush things. I made it! I made it! High fives, everyone! Great to see you! What picture would you like to make today? Boat. A boat picture? That's a nice idea. Is it just one boat? No. How many? Lots of boats, nice. And where will the boats be? The sea. In the sea, that's right. Great ideas, everyone. Let's make it together. We are making the boats. <laughs> this is the mast. And these are the sails. I am a shark. And here's a lovely blue sky. <laughs> Making this picture has just given me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Get ready to set sail. Try making a brilliant little tub boat. You will need a clean plastic tub, tissue paper and coloured paper, gloopy glue and a brush, scissors and a pencil, modelling clay, and a drinking straw and stickers. First, take the plastic tub and cover it with gloopy glue and pieces of torn tissue paper. Then leave it to dry. For the sail, take a triangle of coloured paper and then use modelling clay and a pencil to make a hole at the top and bottom of the triangle. Then thread a straw through the holes. Now press modelling clay into the bottom of the boat and push your sail into it. Add stickers for portholes and a paper flag. Your tub boat is finished and ready to play with. What a nice idea. Why don't you try it? But right now, let's see how our big boat pitch is getting on. <laughs> That's it! We, we made it, it together! together! Yay! Ooh, it looks windy out there. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it, Scrap? <laughs> Ooh. Don't worry, it's only the maker phone. Oh, dear. Oh, it's Toki! It's Toki, Scraps! <laughs> ah, time to go! Time to go! Oh, thanks, Toki. I'll be home soon. Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the marvellous Maker Case back in its box! <laughs> <laughs>